Alrighty y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and this is Marshmallow Budgets. I'm a 30 year old cash budgeter in the great state of Texas and Marshmallow was my 21 year old cat. Um, so this is another one of my first videos back type of things but we're, we're going to start off strong. Um, I was going to do a monthly budget with me but I've, it's just... I, it's not happening so what we're doing today is we're going to do a budget with me for the first paycheck of October um, I'm just going to review everything with y'all because I had to I actually had to quickly budget this because I got paid and then you know had to go and get the cash out and it's just had to figure some things out so we're just going to quickly go into this um and we'll chit chat, you know what I mean, as we go. So, paycheck number one. I, so while I was gone, um, if we want a video, um, for, like, what happened while I was gone, what's going on now, type of situation, y'all let me know if y'all want to, like, do it like a catch-up video. Um, I don't mind doing that. I, uh, just want to know if y'all want to do that, you know, whatever. Anyways, um, so I, part of that would be I got a promotion and a raise with my new job that I just started in February. Um, I got the, got it in August, the end of August. And yeah, I've been there for like a little over a month now in that new position, but I got a raise. Um, so, and this was my first full paycheck with this raise in this new position. So didn't really know how the, you know, hours and like all that hoopla was going to work because it's different than all the other ones. So, um, and sorry y'all if I'm huffing, I just got back from my run. I've started running also something new and I'm still a little red, still a little hot. I cooled down and I just like could not wait to film. I was just so ready to film. So yeah. Anyways, we uh estimated our paycheck to be $108. One 108. <laughs> Y'all. I can't even think. I'm still I'm like still so exhausted. $1,108 and it was actually 1,131 and some change. And then I I thought I had already paid my gas bill, which it wasn't, it's not past due or anything, but, uh, I got it, like, last week, and I thought I paid it, but I didn't, so I still had money in my bank account to pay the gas bill, so I, I paid it, it's paid now, I got the receipt and everything, um, okay, so, as or previously, um, bills haven't really changed that much, um, our electric bill, we have solar, so our electric bill is cheaper, and we are on a co-op, so it's cheaper. So I budget a hundred. It's like it's never been a hundred dollars. Um, it was fifty-five this month, so we have that. And then our water bill, I don't have it yet. We budget a hundred. Um, sometimes a little bit more than a hundred. It just depends on if they actually check the meter or not. Which nine times out of ten, they just use the last month's amount. Sometimes they like prorate stuff because they it's like they just feel like they need to throw in some extra, you know, like oh we've charged you ninety eight sixty four three months in a row because we haven't checked your meter. Let's just change it to a one oh one and whatever since just change it up a bit, you know. They they don't ever check the meter. It it's a thing here where I live. So <laughs> um anyways, um just in case it's a little bit more than $100, we're using some of the overage from the electric bill. And we're going to pretend that it's 120 and whatever is the difference, because I think 120 was the most expensive it's been. Oh no, I take that back. It was 185 But that was when we filled the pool that we bought. We bought a pool too, if y'all didn't, if y'all weren't here, or I didn't tell y'all that before I went on my hiatus. <laughs> I don't remember when I bought it. It was during the summer sometime. Um, but anyways, on average, it's less than 120 bucks. So we're going to budget that for 120. And if it's cheaper, whatever's left, I'll put it somewhere else in another binder or whatever. Car insurance is going to be 6159. Our solar panels are 143 and 54 cents. 
Internet with Optimum slash Sudden Link is $73.49. Student loans are only $10. Ridiculous. I'm going to work on it eventually. Um, and then Vivint, which is our security system that we got, is one thirty and two cents. Don't know if I was here, you know, around posting when we got the security system. I think we were. But um, now that I'm working from home and we've had some like crazy stuff happen in the neighborhood, we decided it was probably best to go ahead and get a security system. Um, so we have cameras and like alarms and all that stuff. And then the gas bill um, from September that never came out, that has finally came out. Um, I just guess I didn't click submit when I tried to pay it when I actually got the bill. So it was thirty ninety six. part of September's bills. And then, here we go, for all the variable and the sinking funds that we will stuff soon. Um, gas for my car slash spending. We're going to keep those together and we're going to put those on the, my cash app card so I can go get gas at Sam's. So, used to, I would go to Sam's and go get a gift card and load money on a gift card and then what it was on that gift card was all I would use but it would take so much time to like go into Sam's have to stand in either the customer service line or one of the two registers that had people because the self checkouts don't take cash or you know and I, or I couldn't be like hey I want a specific amount on this gift card you know what I mean so um, I found um, within the past month or two that I can put a certain amount on my cash app card and it'll treat it like a gift card and only pump the how much is on there. Um, I do have cash app, Venmo, and PayPal. Um, I prefer Venmo, but my husband uses that for his side hustle. So uh, cash app is the next easiest thing. Um, but we're doing 30 for that. Um, it says slash spending. I was going to give myself like 50 bucks to spend. But we're trying to do no spend October. And that would negate everything. So we're just going to just gonna do a regular 30 bucks for gas. I work from home. I just leave for groceries and try not to go anywhere. Try not to spend any money. So we're just going to $30 for gas to go get groceries. Um, which brings us to groceries. Um, normally or used to my husband would pay for all the groceries but we're trying to like save for all these different things now I'm trying to catch up on our savings and what we took out for his procedure and Marsha's stuff um, so I'm gonna pitch in for groceries um, we're gonna see how this works because when we get down to not having meats in our deep freeze which we're getting close it's going to be a bigger grocery haul. So, I'm going to put 25 a week towards this. And we'll see how it goes. Um, TBA on all of that. Okay, sinking funds. Auto for car registration always gets $6. I used to get 7 but like with rollover and extra and whatever, it just needs 6 for now. Um, I need to start putting back for like a car maintenance. And while I'm thinking about that, let's actually use one of these new pins. Car maintenance. Envelope. Question mark. Um, I'll keep that to the side just in case. Um, so six for our car registration. Which may be going away. No, not car registrations are going away. Uh, car inspection may be going away. But I think we're still going to be charged the fee for it. So it's like it's... I don't know. We'll see how that works. Um, body is my Beachbody subscription. We do um, $16 for that. I use Beachbody almost every day. So it's worth it. Um, I did think about getting rid of it and just kind of doing my own thing. Because I do have like weights and stuff. But I use it almost every day. It's worth it. You know, it's fine. Sam's membership is five. We also need to put back for Sam's groceries. I don't really know what to call that envelope though. So once we get in a better place financially and we're like making up all these um, savings challenge things that I'm working on this month, probably ne starting next month, I will uh, start putting back for a grocery haul for Sam's, um, which will, that'll be about the time we need to, you know, go. Um, the pool, so 
when you go to pool, um, like I said, this summer, I can't remember, it was like July, end of August maybe, um, we haven't really like, since it was our first time, it was just kind of like fill it up and buy the necessary chemicals. And you know, first time we go along, we find all the things that, you know, are wrong or we need to do better next time. Um, this mostly, um, this is a lot, $50 is a lot, but it's only going to be until like May. Um, we want to pour a concrete, con <laughs> concrete slab to put the pool on because right now we just like leveled out the dirt in our yard um like we mm, pulled up weeds and stuff in a space in our yard and leveled it out and it, that's just it's not gonna work uh, it's not like level enough so we're gonna do a concrete slab and we're gonna try to save for that i don't think 400 is gonna be enough and that's about how much we're gonna have by the by may or should have by may so, we'll see. Because then we have to buy chemical, and we should have all the stuff we need, except for like a vacuum, which we borrowed a vacuum um, to clean it out. So, we'll see. Maybe like tax return, or Christmas bonus time, or something, we'll figure that out. Anniversary, for now, is just getting five. I was thinking, yeah, that should be enough by the time it comes around again. It's not. Um, but like I said, in like November, December, when the budget changes for like holiday stuff and all that, um, it'll be different. Um, and then same thing with minis. We're catching up from what we took out for my husband's procedure and Marsha's stuff and all that hoopla. Um, we're putting back extra and then we're going to do so much a month or so much a week for mini Mondays to save extra towards stuff because mini Mondays are fun. Um, uh, if you notice, Christmas isn't here. Um, I have saved for Christmas as much as I'm gonna save for this year. Um, I did that while I was out. Um, gonna be a pretty low budget Christmas this year. Um, not trying to do anything extravagant, trying to keep it low spend, you know, just the people that we see and you know we spend time with and stuff so Christmas is done but that Christmas is going to start back in saving for it you know is going to start back in December so the budget will change again in December so January should be our stable <laughs> December January should be our stable month um so I have a um, doctor bills that I need to pay I tried to actually pay it yesterday um but the site is having issues um so i gotta pay that i kept it in my bank account so that i can pay it online um and just deal with it um if they don't get it fixed and then i will pay it in person when i go to my appointment next week or when you're watching this this week um yeah that's another thing that happened while i was we were out um i saw a cardiologist and I got a stress test done wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be y'all and so whatever but this this is for when I saw the cardiologist in the first place they didn't charge me my copay so I have this copay to pay um, from the last time so and then the extra this is after all the budgeting went through and whatever um, to see. We're going to start back up with a month ahead. We're going to try to do 20 to $25 a month um, to try to get a month ahead on bills because you know, if things hit the fan with either of mine or my husband's job, we're going to need some help. So, that. And then Halloween. This is not for this year for Halloween and I know this is kind of a weird thing to save for while I'm paying off debt, you know? This is not my debt paycheck, by the way. The next paycheck is going to be when stuff goes to debt. Um, but, um, Halloween. So, we went to Lowe's for s pool stuff is what we went to Lowe's for. And they had Halloween stuff out. Um, and it was like August when we did this. They had the cutest, it was like a band. An animatronic band, life-size band, skeleton thing 
and they were so expensive. One, each person was like $250. Like the guitar player was $250. The singer was $250. The drummer was a little bit more than $250. $20 in a year's time isn't going to buy us the band. But, you know, they probably won't even have the band around next year. It'll probably be out of style. So, whatever. Maybe we can have some good decorations for Halloween. And if not, this can roll over to Christmas decorations. Um, but we're going to put that into Halloween for now. And then medical. Um, when the time rolls around, I'll tell you about all of that stuff. Um, but... I want to keep the copay amount in my medical envelope. So, we have it in case we have to go to the doctor, you know. And then we are also catching up on all the things. Um, lastly, we're catching up on our penny challenge. I went back through to see, you know, I emptied, have emptied it twice because of emergencies or needing whatever and paying off whatever. Um, we're catching up on the penny challenge, um... By the end of this month, we should have what we put in there both times added together, if that makes sense. Um, so, um, 26, if we had more than 26 in there, but that's just what we can put in there from this paycheck. So, that's about it for this paycheck. Next paycheck will hopefully be a slightly simpler. Um, if you like this video, please let me know, um, if y'all want to know, like, have a video that's like, hey, this happened while I was gone, all this stuff, blah, 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 um, then we can do that, I don't mind, um, we can do a little chit chat and maybe condense something or, you know, whatever, but this is all we're doing for today, I'm, I'm about back, I'm gonna, I can't talk, I'm batch filming today. So I'm going to get started on all the other things and get to going. I have another workout that I got to do later too to catch up. So, yep, busy Saturday. Y'all will be seeing this on a weekday though. So, <laughs> sorry y'all, I got to get back into the whole filming thing. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to actually physically like it. Click it down there. Um, Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your budget friends and fam about me so I can have a little bit more of accountability because we're trying to not spend and say we're trying to save and debt and all that stuff. And I will leave you alone. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.